Hello and welcome here to Talk FCB. and uh, just before I start this video, because basically what this video is, there's been a lot of talk about Luis Enrique, there's been a big headline around all the different papers and there's been so many tweets and different things about it. Luis Enrique has used 22 different teams in 22 different matches this season and that's the reason why we're failing, because Luis Enrique hasn't picked a consistent lineup. That's the picture that's been painted on many front pages of the Catalan newspapers, etc. 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 Now, I'm not going to sit here and completely defend Luis Enrique. I'm not going to do that because. Although I do have some defence in him, which is what the video is about, I do understand the frustration. He does need to pick a consistent side, and I do believe that he'll do that. But 22 different lineups in 22 different games has its own story, and I'm going to be going over some reasons why Luis Enrique could be forgiven for changing his side, or at least changing one player each match simply because there are reasons behind it. Now, like I say, I'm not completely defending him. I completely understand the points that are being made. He does need to find a consistent lineup. He does need to start picking a team that plays week in, week out. But there are some things which he really couldn't have helped, which means that he's had to change his side around. The number one thing is the goalkeepers. One player plays in the league. One player plays in the Champions League. So straight away... If you're going from a league match to a Champions League match, there's going to be a change. So, Claudia Bravo will play in the league, Ter Stegen plays in the Champions League. So, from one game to the next, there's a change. A straight away there, that's one change in the team. So, that's straight away a different side. So, from changing the keeper, even if he had 10 players in all the same positions, but he changed the keeper, the headline would be, he's changed his side again. Well, no, he hasn't. He's just changed the keeper. The next thing is the right-back position. Danny Alves suspended last match, so he's had to do that. Danny Alves has played most of the season, so he's been pretty constant. The left-back position, exactly the same. Jordi Alvarez played there. He played. He made one mistake in El Clasico, playing Mattia left-back. That didn't really work out, but that's only once. The centre-back is one thing that I do believe in. At the start of the season, he changed the centre-backs all all the time, all the time. Gerard Piquet was left on the bench, which if you look at him now and you look at his performances now, that has really helped him. And Luis Enrique hasn't been given enough credit for that. Dropping Gerard Piquet at the start of the season has really kicked Gerard Piquet into gear because his performances have upped, his intensity has upped, and he's become a better player for it. So straight away there, a little bit of changing is quite good. Mascherano as well, he's been centre-back, he's been defensive midfield, so every time you change him around, you change the team. Bartra's been brought in, and there's been a lot of games, guys, where we've said, for instance, if we're playing, um, I don't know, Almeria away from home, or at home, or, or somebody easier opposition, we would say, how about you rest Piquet or Machia this game and play Bartra? So we're asking Luis Enrique to make a change, yet when he does it, suddenly then headlines appear, oh, he's changed the team again. Okay, fair enough. Sergio Busquets in defensive midfield. A lot of people are saying, why don't you play Mascherano? And he has done that a few times this season. But again, if you change Busquets for Mascherano, always changing the team again. What I'm trying to say is, guys, with all these different options, Luis Enrique has changed his team too many times this season. But to say 22 different teams in 22 different games, there's reasons behind it. There's reasons behind doing it. And have some good things have come about changing the team. For instance, he's had to change the side to put Luis Suarez in. When Luis Suarez Suarez is suspended, you had Sandra Ramirez, you had Pedro, you had Munir, and he's had to change it to put Suarez in. Same with the midfield, Xavi, Rakitic, Iniesta has been injured, he can't help that, Luis Enrique can't help Iniesta being injured, so when Iniesta comes back he puts him in, and again look, there's another change. So all I'm trying to say is guys, this has been really used to batter Enrique with, and like I said, I do understand it, because Luis Enrique is definitely trying to find his best team, but he's not quite succeeding yet, and he does need to do it soon, and like I said, I thoroughly believe you will, but all I'll say is, don't just jump on his back at random things, have a little bit of patience, understand the reasons why he's changing his team all the time. It's not that easy with injuries and suspensions to always pick the same 11. He will do it eventually. He's, tr he's very, very close to finding his best team and he will start to implement that very, very soon. What formation it'll be, I couldn't tell you. But all I'll say is, just hold back on him. There's no need to go in and just completely smash into pieces because he's changed his team a few times. It's a, a ridiculous stat. It doesn't really tell the full story. So this makes you guys understand a little bit about what's going into these teams and why there's so many changes all the time. I I agree with it in some ways, but there are some things to explain why it's changing so much. So, hope this video helped you guys. Leave your thoughts below. Luis Enrique, let's be positive, let's be patient, let's wait and see what he can produce. I've got faith, I hope you do too. Leave your thoughts down below. I'll see you very, very soon, guys, for another video. But until then, as always, Vizcarra Barca. Barca! Barca!